Now to a story you'll see only on Local 12. A local farmer is worried he's going to be out thousands of dollars after taking in several cows. Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us how the animals came to his farm and why he thinks he won't get his money back. Curtis Adams took in 21 cows from an Adams County farm last winter. The animals were seized after they were found emaciated. You could see every rib on them. They were probably they probably weighed about 500 pounds when we loaded them. And they were so weak. Five of them died shortly after getting to Adams's farm. The remaining cattle have improved and put on weight. Now they're healthy. They uh, they're spunkier. There's more energetic than they used than they was when we first got them. He's had the animals for nearly a year and a half. That means feeding, vet visits, and other costs to take care of them. I'd say every bit of close to 10,000. It could be more and it could be less. I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's in that ballpark. The cost could keep rising too. In a normal year, this likely wouldn't have become such an issue. But due to the pandemic, the criminal case still isn't resolved with the animal's original owner. Adam says he's got more money into the animals than they're worth. His dad also has some of the cattle that were seized. He says his dad got a call from the county about the future of the cows. They said that they were going to take them to the stockyards and they were going to let the guy pick on how they get uh, processed, on what, what one, if he wants to sell them by the pound or if, what he wants to do, which that's, that's not fair to anybody. Adam says he'd be okay just keeping the cattle and calling it even but he worries the county won't let him do that. County Prosecutor David Kelly says he will talk with me Tuesday about the future of the animals and the cost of keeping them. In Adams County, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. We'll have an update tomorrow with what the prosecutor says about the animals paying back the farmer and the status of the criminal case.